oh, I don't know. I don't want anyone touching my hands. Like, disgusting. So that was that. Welcome back to the Big Dane Podcast. How was your week and weekends? I feel like it's now, it's really getting cold out. So I'm like, what can we do outside? Because normally, you know, we'd still be doing the fire pit, but we haven't done that in a couple weeks. So, um, but then this upcoming weekend, we'll be doing that early um to celebrate my my birthday and my mom's birthday together so that'll be nice to see them um yeah so my birthday is on february 1st a monday so i can't believe it's like already here like didn't i just have my 30th and now such an odd number 31 no pun intended but just like uh, 31 like what is that what's that number um <clears throat> does anyone else have a birthday maybe coming up yeah oh you're not Aquarius oh okay yeah no worries no worries at all um <clears throat> but no updates for walks been a little bit boring again but um, just an update for this FODMAP diet. Um, I'm on my final week of doing like the first phase, if you will. And then I'm speaking with um, my dietitian who specializes in like her IBS patients and other like GI patients in that respect um, this week. So then She's going to tell me, like, how to start reintroducing the food. So I don't know if it's, like, lactose first or the fructose first, you know. So we'll see. And then that's, like, yeah, to reintroduce literally, like, every section. So we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> um, but I just wanted to be done. And, like, all I want is just, like, just have a, a beer or... Lots of wine would be nice, <laughs> but I've been staying away because I've I figured if I really want to find out what's going on, I can't have that. It's just gonna irritate it. So, anywho, just wanted to give you that update. And has anyone tapped into my IGTV? Yeah, so I'm so excited. I uploaded again um, my. Um, another series on there for the IBS episode. So you got to see those five short clips. And then, yeah, so I'm in the process of setting up everything on YouTube. So, you know, the um, the episodes that I do video record, you will be able to see like the full, the full video. Yeah. Um, on YouTube. So it's going to be so much fun. Um, it just is going to take some time. Um so, yeah, looking forward to that and want to hear your thoughts. If, you know, do you like the, the little clips and now you're like, oh, my gosh, well, what happened after that? Well, you will see. Um, or, you know, you could just listen to the episode. But if you want, like, the full experience, the full Big Dane experience, and you're going to have to just wait a little bit longer. So... So yeah, so, so excited, and let's just get into the episode today. So I'm going to be talking about treating yourself, yeah, treat yourself, right, Parks and Recs. Um, so with that in mind, do you actually, like, have, like, a legitimate treat, like, maybe you know, a piece of cake, or, you know, maybe you go to Insomnia Cookies, get a cookie for yourself, maybe every Friday, or whatever it is, or, or do you actually, like, do something, like, for you, like, you know, 
treat yourself like mentally or, you know, take a mental health day um, or or what? So um, we'll get into it all. I'll tell you what I kind of do for myself. Um, So I actually have a subscription to Hand and Stone. Yeah, Hand and Stone. And, you know, it's just up the street, which is awesome. Um, And I found a massage therapist that I really like, so I keep just going back to her. Um, And so it's once a month. And instead of paying... Okay, so non-member is like $100, basically. I think it's like $99. Like $99.99, you know what I mean? (laughs) And... But then it's like, well, then you got to think about like tip and gratuity, you know, and before you know, it's like over a hundred dollars, obviously. So I thought if I, you know, just because it helps my back a lot. um, So I thought it's totally worth it just to do the membership because now it's only like think it's like fifty nine ninety nine, but then sure. Yeah. Tip. But you're still now you're under a hundred dollars. Yeah. So I love it. And then, you know, I feel so like relaxed after. And yeah, I do it once a month. Um, My back gets pretty tight um, just with having my scoliosis and my left hip, like always, always, always. It just basically by default and just how my bones are um, structured that it just sits higher. So um, essentially that's, I just get, yeah, a lot of like lower back pain and it's very tight and, you know, being flat footed, that doesn't help. And my orthotics only do so much. Um, So, but I did add like a little heel lift to my right orthotic. So now like my hips are like even, but even still like, you know, after a long walk or, you know, if I do go on a run, then it gets so tight. So really like helps like getting a massage and just to like, you know, really get in there and loosen it up. So, so yeah, I really enjoy that. I do that for myself. Um, I actually haven't tried like their facials because I'm pretty sure that's like the other option, which I kind of forget because I'm like, who wants a facial, like, massage me, like, come on, because I tell Matt, or, like, if we're watching TV, I'm like, can you just, can you rub my feet, (laughs) Um, and he's, like, tired of it, and so I'm like, okay, just, I'll just get my massage, you know, but I am, I would be interested to get a facial just, just to see what that's like, I have gotten one before in general, Actually, probably only a total of, like, two times my entire life. They feel really nice. Yeah. I will say the one time went with um, my sister-in-law and our friend. Um, this was, like, maybe, like, two last last year? Last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or two years ago, rather, maybe. I don't know. So, but... Um, I treated her um, for her birthday, and I got a facial, and there was just, like, at one point, I felt like I couldn't breathe, like, uh, just because, like, they wrap the the damp towel around your face, and, like, what, maybe one nostril's, like, trying to hang out, like, hello, <laughs> like, I can't breathe, but, like, you can't panic, because then, you know, like, you'll really freak yourself out, but... That's just been my experience. Um, Also, um, on the weekend, maybe I'll get like a fancy coffee, maybe like a latte, although I haven't been good with that and now have been getting like during the week because I just saw, um, you know, the shack in the back and Conchi just opened. So I was like, oh, I got to try their latte, see if, you know, how they are, you know, Um, but Usually I'll stick it, you know, to the weekend, maybe a Saturday or something like that. And, you know, just get a little specialty coffee. Why not? Because during the week, I always make it here at my home and been using my amazing French press. Yeah, that I got from Santa. So it's been pretty fabulous and it works wonders. Um, 
Also, this is another huge one for me. The balayage highlights. Yeah. So if you're wondering what I'm saying, um, when you look at it on a piece of paper, it might look like bala balayage. <laughs> balayage. Kind of like balakinwa. This is balayage. But really, it's balayage. Just say bali. And then age, balayage, not biolage, no, 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 balayage highlights. And I go to Blush Salon in Newtown Square and go to Grace. She's my girl, love her. She does an amazing job. And I do it once a year. Yeah, just once a year. I mean, I think in the beginning, so this was probably like, five years ago wow i can't believe five years ago already and i remember i got it like very very subtle because i just wasn't sure and how it was gonna like turn out and you know my first get first time getting like highlights in general because when i was a kid like from playing you know sports and being outside my hair would naturally like get highlighted from the sun and it looked really pretty um but you know now an adult you're inside who I'm not playing outside anymore, so my hair looks kind of dark. <laughs> um, so just had brightened it up, and then maybe like, yeah, that first year of getting it done, I think I did get it done a second time just because I wanted a little bit more highlights just because it was very, very subtle. Um, so now it's like you kind of find that sweet spot, and, you know, Grace, you know, knows – you know, what I like and everything like that. And so um, it's been a lot of fun. So, yeah, and I had just gotten it done in the fall in October right before I did the photo shoot because I wanted to make sure, like, my hair looked good and everything. So it really worked out. Um, But it's almost like an addiction in a way because, you know, once you get it done, you're like, oh, well, I feel like I could, like, use a little more, like, highlight, <laughs> right? But, I mean, it it's it gets expensive, I will say that. I'm um, not going to lie about that for sure. So, but, and, you know, again, that's why I do it one time a year, treat myself, and, yeah. So, I wonder if you do the same or, you know, what kind of things you do. Um, you know, for yourself, maybe something annually or yeah, monthly, quarterly, weekly, daily, right? Um, so that is that. Um, I'll just kind of go through some of the other things I have jotted down here. How about like alcohol? Like, is that a treat maybe for you? Maybe not. You're like, yeah, I'll just have one and then like five glasses later. (laughs) Like, okay, maybe not so much. Maybe that isn't a treat, right? So probably not, especially with our culture. Um, Or sometimes like an actual treat, I will say like a little piece of chocolate after dinner. But I like wait I try to wait all day. Try is the key words here because now I'm like, oh, well, maybe I'll just have it after lunch. And now I'm like, whoa, what are you doing? This treat was meant for after dinner. And now I'm just like, shit. (laughs) So I got to like, you know, reset, you know, you know what I'm saying? But But yeah, do you have like a treat like every night, you know, like literally a treat like a food or some sort of dessert or or what is it? Um, Sometimes like, um, you know, Matt and I were thinking like, why don't we just, you know, we should treat ourselves like every once in a while for like a nice dinner, like a nice dinner, right? <laughs> um, so maybe like Blackfish or Spring Milk Cafe or like, you know, something that's, you know, a little bit more expensive or that, you know, we just, you know, wouldn't get that often, right? Um, or maybe it's like seafood or, you know, filet or something. Um, cause we don't even buy like steak or anything like that. Um, so, so that would definitely be a little bit of a treat. Um, maybe for parents and for those that, 
maybe have like a newborn or kids in general like your treat you're like yeah i'm sleeping in i'm treating myself you know so hey it could literally be anything i mean something so simple doesn't even have to be complex but um you know i just saw my friend um during the week um real quick to drop off um a gift basket for her new baby coming so and she just seems so tired so i i can't even imagine like trying to to work um you know especially during this whole time during the pandemic and having kids running around or or you know <clears throat> a toddler or or whatever so um you know kudos to you all for that i mean i literally can't speak for that um we just have two cats here so yeah (laughs) um how about yeah well we already touched on this we're talking about facial maybe that's something you do like you have your go-to maybe time and like your person is gonna set you up your facial oh hi lucy hi how are you oh your usual oh no problem would you like a glass of champagne with that oh yeah and just kind of going on from there um or even i thought something that came to mind too um just like new makeup right i mean you know Pretty soon I'll be saying I'm in my 30s instead of like, oh, yeah, I'm 30. But, you know, when you're in your 30s, you want some nice ass makeup, right? Like a some kind of great palette for, for eyeshadows, maybe, especially now I'm wearing a mask. You know, throw out all your lipsticks, basically. I mean, they're just going to go rot. Um, but... But yeah, and maybe, you know, you got to get ready for all your uh, virtual calls and you need like a good like foundation maybe, maybe use like a powder or some liquid foundation. Um, I kind of use both off and on. I feel like now I'm leaning towards more of like the liquid that I like better, but I don't know. I don't know, because in my face, like in the winter, it gets dry, but I definitely have like a combination um, skin where, you know, you have that T-zone, right, of like the oil, and it's like, you know, but but yeah, it stinks. Like I I did enjoy, you know, looking for like a new lipstick or something like just to like pop when you go out and, you know, change it up. And now it's like, what, am I going to wear a clear mask? Oh, and then when I put the clear mask on, the lipstick is just going to, like, bump up against the plastic. So, I don't know. Has anyone else thought this through of, like, maybe a work around this? Maybe a mask that doesn't, um, it's not going to, like, smudge your makeup, like, your, yeah, your makeup or your, uh, your lips? Oh, I think I'm on to something. Yeah. Or, like, would that be, I feel like even, like, a matte lipstick, that could work potentially. But even still, like, you're going to have to have some sort of, like, translucent, you know, mask so you could see your lips. I don't know. I don't know. Or, okay, here we go. What you can do is you customize your mask, take a picture of your lips with, um you know whatever favorite lipstick and now you upload that picture to whatever this site that i'm referencing i don't know i'm sure it exists and then you literally have your lips on your mask as an image and you get to show off your lipstick that way i think it's a brilliant idea brilliant um yeah so but going back to the makeup do you treat yourself you know maybe you are someone that puts it on regularly like um depending on the time kind of job you have or maybe you just like to put it on right so so what do you do what do you do and what brands i'd love to hear the brands i feel like i'm constantly 
trying like different brands all the time like um you know between like drugstore or like maybe i am going to like ulta or sephora to get something a little bit more specific that i like really like and felt good on my skin um so hey um and then what about nails like getting your nails done like i know I could speak for my mom because she used to get them like she would treat herself that way and get them done like every two weeks. Yeah. And I remember like as a kid, I'm like, why are you getting your nails done? Ew. <laughs> I'm like, like thinking like, why would you ever do that? <laughs> um, And now like, I don't know, I'm just... I'm not big on going to get them done, especially if it's just a manicure, because literally I'll walk out the door and I'll chip it, you know? So when I could just literally do it at home, I actually found a brand that I really liked. It's the gel, um, the Essie gel. Yeah. And Matt's mom actually had given it to me for Christmas last year as a stocking stuffer. So I'm like, oh my God, this is perfect. Cause you know, it comes with, you know, the color and then like the gel coating, whatever to put on top to like harden and thicken it. So now I can like go out and like get other colors because it works so well and I really like it. But yeah, I mean, unless I have like an occasion coming up where I want my nails to look nice, then I will get a gel done. Um, but that's something I just, I don't do. And then I will say too, like one of my other friends, yeah, like the one actually just saw and she, she loves to get pedicures like all the time. Yeah. So like through the pandemic, she was struggling. Yeah. Struggle bus. Um, so, but that was actually one thing I did do. This was like right before went to the shore with Ha, that rhymes. Right before I went to the shore with Matt's family. Um, I didn't have anything else to rhyme after that, so sorry. But, yeah, I ended up going, like, down the street, you know, just in Conchi to get my toes done. Because I thought, well, they're just touching my feet, so it's totally fine. Because I was, like, still, like, oh, I don't know. I don't want anyone touching my hands. Like, disgusting. So, that was that. Um, so enough about women. What about the men? (laughs) What do you guys do? Do you treat yourself with maybe like a clean shave? You go down to the barber and get it done or, or maybe like beard grooming products, maybe some beard oil, you know, you got to keep it all together, right? You don't want no straggly beard that looks like, "Mm, mm mm-hmm, yeah, the stuff down there, yeah, it's disgusting. Like, why would you want your face to look like that? It's just like, ugh, such a turn off. If you're going to have a beard, you got to take care of it. Yeah. Yeah, um, or even, like, do any of you guys, yeah, um, yeah, use, like, a subscription service, like, for clothes, like, Stitch Fix or something like that, um, I don't know what other clothes, clothing ones are, that are available, um, but one of my friend's, um, husband, she, uh, she, he, um, <laughs> he uses stitch fix and then that kind of like intrigued matt so like matt has been using the stitch fix so it's like a little treat for himself um but he really likes it um they do a pretty nice job with like picking out and selecting things pretty cool pretty cool yeah i was like ooh, like how are you gonna keep all of that you know but you know it all depends on how it fits if it doesn't fit right obviously i don't keep it um what about yeah like maybe a new video game and i'm not saying like oh only men play video games but i'm saying that because i'm bringing up a video game because uh, again i think of like mad and like other um other guy guy friends that i have um and they still play video games or they'll get like a new video game and um so maybe that's your treat maybe you like to treat yourself you know once a quarter however long or short right 
Um, but yeah, I know on occasion Matt will like to get a new video game. I will say we tried playing a game because I told him, I was like, I have this controller. Like, I want to play. So we played this game and it was a lot of fun it was like we would play against each other and it was like these you got to pick like your own car but then you were like playing like soccer like so you would like control the car but then it was like this giant like ball and but and Matt and I were playing together but because it was like just you know 1v1 basically I I was like getting kind of like dizzy because you're just like kind of next thing you know you're turning this way then you're turning this way oh the ball's over here oh got to reverse oh just ran into Matt oh you know and I was like so mad because we played probably only like 20 minutes I was like oh my god I feel so sick I'm like what is happening right now because I never had you know an issue like that when I was little and playing video games all the time and I'm like, oh. so we were saying like maybe it could potentially be better if we were playing with, um, you know, basically like the other robots um, in there and just so there wouldn't be so much spinning. But I don't know. But like it took a while for me to like feel like better, like probably about like an hour. I was like, oh, my God, is this even worth it? So I said, why don't we just try to maybe find like a different game? But yeah, I was kind of bummed. But anywho, um, yeah, let me know like what other things maybe you do to treat yourself or, or yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. So please sure to subscribe if you haven't already. So just just a little, you know hint right maybe just a little reminder for you so please go to the big dane podcast.com slash podcast and yeah i mean literally like whatever platform you listen to your podcast on pretty sure i have it so choose and select whichever platform you listen on so apple podcast maybe maybe spotify maybe stitcher maybe google podcast and soon guys very very soon i will have for you um youtube so i'll be working on that um it's just going to take a little bit longer just because it doesn't auto generate like from the rss feed um so i'm gonna have to like manually like kind of do everything um which is totally fine but just a little extra step so so yeah so looking forward to it and be sure to look at all the goofy uh silly funny content on my coffee page and that's just um little coffee icon on my website so you'll see that and then you can click over and boom you are good to go so hope you enjoyed it and have a great week all right my friends peace out